Hello folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm once again back in BUGC, my home, and I'm sitting outside on the balcony watching the sunset with my good friend Sho right next to me. Yeah. A long time to Yeah, exactly. We've reunited. We're just chilling outside right now, taking in the beautiful weather. The sun's out. Oh, life is good, man. Life is good. It's great to be back in BGC. And yeah, this unit that I'm in, oh my goodness, it's a fantastic unit. It's a 1BR. I think at 45 square meters. It is a 1BR, not a sliding divider. So it's got a wall there and it's a brilliant unit. I copped it up for a really good price. Just take a look at the view from up here. Downstairs is Mr. Koshi Mall there, and that I believe is 8th Avenue. You know, whilst I was away in Thailand twice this year and uh, the end of last year in 2023, Sho was in Japan and he brought me some Japanese snacks to try out. How many did you buy? I don't know, like a five or something. Five, huh? Yeah. Maybe we can try out some of the snacks that he brought all the way from Japan and show you guys in this video. And maybe I'll give you like a little condo tour of his unit because it's fantastic, I really love it. I'm gonna be here for a couple days and then I might fly out to, who knows. This unit could do with a little bit of cleaning though. What do you think? Like the balcony area. But dude, I really want a, a unit with a balcony. It's really life changing. Uh, really I don't really, I don't really know how much I would like a balcony until- Until now, yeah. Until now. Until now, really. So different. So nice, man. So nice. Look at that. Waking up. Yeah, we were discussing this, right? Yeah, we were discussing we how, like, imagine waking up to a view like this and coming out on your balcony, yeah. having your coffee yeah. right here. Oh my goodness, that is a good life, man. But you know what BGC is lacking, guys? You know what the condos are lacking here? A roof deck, pool, and gym. Oh my god. Uh, imagine, imagine if BGC had those sort of condos that you saw in Bangkok where you have the roof deck pool right at the top with a skyline view and the gym up there as well. BGC would be the perfect place. Exactly. The perfect place yeah. to stay in. Should but it doesn't. Right, really. All the amenities are like on the fifth floor, which is so, I don't know. I don't know why property developers here in the Philippines don't put the amenities up on the roof deck because it would be so good. But we've got a balcony here. And this is pretty much the only condominium that I know that has a balcony in the uptown area. I mean, the Park Avenue and the Federal Land buildings have balconies there too, but they're not as good as this. So this view is already great right now, but at night, when all the lights turn on, it's going to be even better. Because you know the Grand Hyatt right in front of us here? Um, it has these two LED bars that go from the very top all the way to the bottom. It's very good. Oh, and also the North Tower, I think that's the North Tower of the Grand Hyatt Residences. You see that line in the middle there? Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. Right, that also I lights up light too. Light yeah, light. yeah, yeah. That's like a long LED strip. What about here in the Mitsukoshi? Mitsukoshi? No, no, the residence here. Oh, the federal, I don't know. I don't think these have them. I don't think the, um, the seasons is what they call them, have any sort of like ambient lighting on the exterior of the building. But what they do have is ambient lighting on those little flower things right at the base. Yeah, that lights up at night. But yeah, we were playing a few tunes, chillaxing, talking, living life. Yeah, yeah. really nice. Yeah, you want to go get that Bluetooth speaker? Yeah. Oh. Did it, wait, is that the snack? Who, yeah. Did you bring the snacks? Yeah. Oh, shoot. we can try them now. You want to try them? Did you buy them for just me or for me and Justin? I'll be for you and Justin. I need some coffee too right now. You just currently signed your lease once again, right? You, like you extended it. Yeah, extended. No, now that, not yet. I haven't signed it up yet. All right, but now that... Oh, you haven't signed it I yet? I haven't signed it up yet. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I wouldn't it's sign it. It's my contract and... Um, on March. Oh, okay. I wouldn't sign it because look at this place. This unit looks like this, right? But it's on the other side. So it's facing like the mountains and like anti polo yeah, area. True. You're not sandwiched in between these buildings. Although true. you are sandwiched here, I still like it, but the view in that direction is even better. But the compromise is the sound, the noise that um, comes from the clubs downstairs yeah. in Uptown Parade is what you have to face with, unfortunately. Yeah, true. That's the huge compromise. You want to connect your phone up? I would reconsider it actually, to be honest. I would reconsider it. What, getting a new unit? Yeah, getting a new oh, unit. I know, dude. You know, it's it's nice to 
like stay in a unit for a year and then jump to another place after yeah. a year? Because if you're in the same unit for like five years straight, it's not very motivating, right? True, true, true. It needs yeah. to be like uh, fresh. Fresh, right? Fresh. You always got to be like fresh. moving around. Yeah. You know? I feel like you always have to upgrade every year. Exactly. exactly. If you're always in the same place, I don't know. Uh, Feels like there's no progress in life. You should be upgraded. Yeah. yeah. You should. You're staying you're staying in the Vida Tower, right? I like the layout, but the windows are too small. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely no balconies. No, but my, how do you call that? My furniture and everything looks nice. Yeah, your furniture's nice, etc. Mm -hmm. But this balcony. Not true. The balcony it's not better than the furniture here, though, right? Although, all the furniture inside here is from Ikea. The way they've done it, the way they styled it, it's just makes the unit yeah, so, much better, it right? so much better, right? Yeah. And I'm such a big fan of when you install a TV onto the wall. If you have the TV just Change lying channel. down or resting on like um, a TV stand, it's, yeah. that's so like 2010, mm. 2000. You know, we're living in 2020, 2024. We need to have the TV on the wall. On the wall. On the wall. It saves space mm. and it looks so much better. Yeah, so much better. Wow, the sun right now, dude. It's so strong. Look at that blue skies up there. But if you guys watching at home are unit owners and you have a unit in Uptown Park Suites Tower 2 or Tower 1 and you've just renovated it, etc. And you would like a occupant or a tenant to rent for a year or you'd even like to do short-term Airbnb rentals, contact the email in the description and also contact me um, because I can make a video for you guys and tour your unit and show people what it's like. Hey, maybe we can go to the peak. What do you reckon? Where, where? We just drop down, drop down to 8th Avenue, and then we walk across to the Grand Hyatt, and we go to the peak and watch sunset up there. You want to yeah, do that? Sure, yeah, sure. Let's go. Okay. All right, folks, we dropped down to 8th Avenue, and we're now on our way to the Grand... Wow, why is it so windy here? Jeez. We're on our way to see the Grand Hyatt, but we're feeling a little peckish, so we might get some food from there and have something to drink and watch sunset. We usually go to Cedar quite a lot, but we never go to the peak at the Grand Hyatt, which is the tallest building in all of Metro Manila. Why we never go there, I don't know. But we're going there today. First video back in BGC. Um, we're chilling. We're chilling like chilling, gangsters, chilling, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I need to get myself a haircut as well from this barber shop. Uh, it's starting to get a little long. Maybe I can ask him also to uh, trim my beard too. All right, now everything's good. Life is good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Afternoon, ma'am. All right. Oh. Oh, I know Madam's working here. Yes. Don't you want to get up or no? no? We're going on to the 62nd floor. Hello, ma'am. We would like to go to the peak. Okay, so they have a dress code here at the Grand Hyatt. And they're going to bring us some pants down that we're going to change into because we're wearing shorts. No sunglasses and hat. But that's my whole shtick, dude. Which floor are we going? 60th. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Evening, ma'am. Hello. Alright, just have to change your bag. Uh, I'm a, what am I? I'm a 30, 36 waist? 34 length. Why? Was, is this not okay? Uh, I, I don't think that the length is okay with this. Okay. I, I, don't I'll come I think I'm gonna have to go back to wearing long trousers because uh, when you wear long trousers, you never have a dress code issue. But if you're wearing shorts, then places are starting to kind of like crack down on people wearing shorts. I don't know why. It's an Asian country. I always feel like uh, it's really hot to wear long trousers. And it doesn't even look stylish anymore wearing long trousers. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Ooh. What? It doesn't fit. 
Oh, fuck. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Does it fit? Boo! It doesn't fit mine. No, it doesn't fit me either, look. I just, I just, I just worry about that. Bro, this is... Boo! Oh, dude. I haven't worn long trousers since 2023. Yeah, this is the peak. This is the view. But uh, unfortunately, these pillars get in the way, so you can't really see sunset properly unless, like, you're right at this very corner, or you go over to there. Do you know what I mean? Like, the view is compromised on this part of the balcony. So I reckon we have to. I'm not going downstairs, but there's a balcony over there. Let's go to that one. Sorry, a terrace. Thank you. It's a nice view though, if it wasn't for those bollards. This way, this way. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> Hello, how do you do? Hi. Ah, this is better. But again, these pillars. It's like you can sit out here. What do you reckon? Without ordering anything? No, we can order stuff. This is why it's not very popular because there's so many things, so many obstacles blocking your view over the sunset. Alright, so we're at a restaurant called Bujinan. What? Bijinan. How do you pronounce it? Bijinabe. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Uh, Biji means uh, beautiful. Oh. I thought Nabe that's Kire. Hmm? I thought that's Kire. Yeah, it's same. same oh, okay. Bijin and Kire means the same thing. Okay. So we're at Bijinabe. And apparently, this restaurant has a broth. This broth here that is made of collagen proteins, which helps build and rebuild in dead cells to recreate a youthful, healthy glow. So basically, after we're done eating this hot pot, our skin should be glowing. Yeah, it should right. be because of the collagen. <laughs> the right? collagen, yeah. Collagen. It's yeah. Collagen. So we'll get a uh, single flavor pot, medium for two packs, and then we'll go with a flavor sukiyaki that yeah, you sukiyaki. liked, and then we'll pick our meats. So just to pick the soup, it's seven hundred pesos, and then well, this is the meats that we can pick. I want to go with pork. So we're gonna go with a pork combo, which is like 890 pesos there, which is like three different sets of pork. Good. And then for any ad additional vegetables, etc., we're looking at paying around about 165 pesos to add like Chinese cabbage, lettuce, coriander, etc. So we're not gonna to go too ham on the vegetables because I'm not probably gonna eat most of the vegetables. But we're gonna be dropping about 1.6k pesos for this pot pot. Okay, shall we order? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, our broth has arrived and it actually looks like four huge chunks of collagen. Look at that. Sure, did you expect it to be like that? No, no, no. Actually, no. What the hell? It looks like the one that put like a uh, boob surgery. Oh, <laughs> the silicone? Oh, look, it's starting to melt. Does it melt? Look at it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh. It's gonna be so good for our hair, our nails, our skin. Should be, right? Yeah. Bella. Bella. I've never once in my life had a collagen soup. Have you? No. So I don't know how this is gonna taste. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the stuff that they put in like shampoo and advertise it as like being really good for your hair. Oh, here comes the meats. Thank you. I'm going my dairy sauce for the That's not three to four persons. But he said it was three to four persons, but no. So literally, what you see right here, this collagen broth and this set of pork, mm -hmm. which is about enough maybe to feed one person. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to feed us up. No, it's not. It's costing us 1.6k pesos. Like to order another set, we're looking at 2.4. Ideally, in like uh, shabu shabu, you need like three sets of sure, sure. meat. No, no, he said don't taste the soup until it boils. And now it's boiling. So maybe we can put it down to like one. Okay. All right, Trevor, you ready? 
No, you're supposed to put the meat inside and then see. There we go. It smells nice. Mm -hmm. It smells very creamy. It smells like there's a lot of butter in there. Yeah, because it's collagen, right? I don't know. I don't know if butter and collagen have anything to do with each other. But it looks creamy, isn't it? Yeah, right? very, very creamy. Cooks very quickly as well. All right, try it out. Is it cooked? I think it's cooked, yeah. Mm. Oh, by the way, you haven't utilized the sauces, though. Oh. <laughs> the first taste. Huh? The first taste. It does have a taste. It does have a taste. Okay, let me try it. Mm. Mm. Like more you're trimming. It tastes very similar to something. Collagen broth reminds me of miso soup, but this is savory and sweet, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually, it's got like a savory uh, taste first, and then you feel the sweetness afterwards kicking in. Kazukiyaki is like a soy sauce with a combination with the sugars mm -hmm. and then like other condiments. Because because they put the collagen in, right? that's why kind of cream taste. It shouldn't be creamy. It's really hot, yeah. Careful. So the total bill comes out too when you factor in service charge, etc., and taxes. Oh, actually, prices are included of tax. Uh, not VAT, it comes out to $1,749.